So here we go, the final act in what has been a, a competition that has entranced us throughout. Never short on drama or emotion or talking points. This year's edition certainly does more than hold up to its predecessors. It seems this is the game in which everybody is keen to play a part. The stands are washed with colour, proud renditions of their songs from either end. It really does have all the ingredients of a top, top final. We're with you from the Maracanã that has for so long been Rio's leading world-class venue. The strains of the national anthem of Brazil. With that anthem, now to match it. teams Jim Beglin with one common thought to have their names on this famous trophy bring it back memories for me Peter a chance to have your name in the club's history having had the privilege of experiencing this uh, a fair few times in my own career there really is nothing that compares once you get there you want to keep coming back I still feel like that now So, just who will seize their moment? As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can um, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. Gets wrestled off the ball. Here come Brazil on the counter. Paredes battles to win it back. Palacios. Lo Celso. And here's Di Maria. Lodi gets it back. Oh, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Ball's gone out of play. Palacios just brushed off the ball there he wasn't very far from making some and the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there and the ref's been lenient here I doubt he'll get too many more chances Marquinhos. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Aguero with good energy in defence as well. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Messi tries to get it forward quickly. Great challenge, time to perfection. And here's Palacios. Fred. It's 
Di Maria. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Aguero. Oh, he's got that all wrong, and it's a penalty. And he could not have picked a worse time to give one away. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Dispatched with certainty. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. Argentina take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, Peter, the emphasis should now switch to winning it, rather than even thinking about losing it. Out to the right. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Marquinhos. Thiago Silva drives it forward. And it's hoisted clear. Danilo. And the weighted pass. That's a brilliant interception. Cut out in the nick of time. Hoists it forward. Now it's Di Maria. He's left his man. Lo Celso. Lo Celso in with a header. No, not the best of headers. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? And it's played forward. Fred. I wouldn't fancy playing up front in these circumstances, to be honest. There's absolutely no supply. Richarlison. Breaks on here. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. All the balls come loose. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Ederson gets good distance on it. Paredes. He spotted the run and played him through. Brazil have it back. And oh, real danger here. Keeper sends it forward. And it's Aguero. It's a loose ball. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Keeper's got good distance on that. Whistle's gone, and we've reached the halfway point of the final. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. So, Jim, the halfway point of the final, what are you thinking? Brazil are in desperate need of some character and inspiration, and they need it now. Already up and running for the second half. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for fortune favouring the brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable.
Natalia Fico. Martinez. Lo Celso. Di Maria. That's great strength on the ball. Looks to thread it through. Marquinhos positions himself well and cuts it out. Ederson sends that a long way. A long ball, but not especially accurate. Ederson gets it upfield. Brazil still trailing by one and looking here to take it up a notch after the break. And that's a throw in. Fred. Oh, great ball! Richarlison! Yes, it's in! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Brazil grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well matched and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Talia Fico, has he found his man? Well played, he saw that coming. Danilo. Casemiro goes looking. Trout calling for him to shoot. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Going through. Now it's Aguero. It's Aguero! And the ball's come out. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Well positioned to make that interception. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Hefty challenge, but fair enough. Well, he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Richarlison. And here's Silva. He's played him through. Has a hit! Goal! Brazil! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Well, this is what we've been waiting for. I think what we've just seen is further evidence of their resilience and fantastic belief. I mean, they can always come through. Remarkable. Fred. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Vinicius Junior. That's gone a long way up and away. 
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well weighted. Gomez. That's surely a foul free kick. Now this is a potential flashpoint and the referee has his hands full. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Argentina have a simple task. Well, he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. another change here yeah he's run himself into the ground hasn't he and it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real on a shift Here's Gomez. Forward it goes. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. And here's Martinez. Martinez plays it out to the flank. And that is it. The referee has seen enough. And so the moment has come. The trophy shimmers as they prepare to receive it. A never-to-be-forgotten moment. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.